So in regards to my mentors, um, it might be an untraditional answer. I would say the idea of men in my family have been a source of mentorship for me. Um, my dad's grandfather was a really important person to him as he and his dad, my granddad, didn't get along very well. And I, I never got to meet my dad's granddad, but through growing up and then through this novel that we've just completed, um, I've gotten to know his granddad very well and the ideals that he stood for, such as hard work and integrity, uh, humility. And so my dad has then instilled those values in me and my brothers. Uh, so yes, I circle back to the idea of men in my family and then that's been manifested through my father. Um, and then I would also have to say my older brother has always been a mentor. He's a person of great strength and the same qualities that I mentioned, integrity, hard work, humility, uh, and he's definitely inspired me to be the best father that I can be to my kids now. So I suppose that answers your third question perhaps is how that manifests in my life. Okay, um, so my mentor is someone named Natalie and I met her when I was in high school and we did a Thursday morning Bible study every Thursday before school and I was always late to history class. What are you gonna do? Um, but over the years she's like, I think five years older than me and she just really reached out and wanted to connect with me and a group of my closest friends and since then even since high school graduation um, we've kept in touch we like she's my hairstylist now um, we meet up for coffee I babysit for her and we just check in about life um, and sorry the third part of this question how it's affected my life is that um, I just always know I have somebody who I can tell anything about like sometimes you don't want to go to your parents sometimes you don't want to go to a teacher it's like a friend um, but someone who has already been there in the life situation you're going through and you know will no matter what you tell them they're always gonna support you okay. who are your mentors I would say <laughs> my mentors <laughs> are my best friend Zaria, who's been my friend for like 10 years or something crazy. Um, Miss Cook here at Woodland Park High School and Mr. Papadakis here at Woodland Park High School also. So if you could choose one, how did they become your mentor? Oh gosh. Um, let's do Mr. Papadakis because I think it's the coolest story. Um, if you go to Woodland Park High School, you know Mr. Papadakis and he's kind of intimidating. Um, and as a new teacher, I was like, I'm afraid of you. Uh, and so for a really long time, I did not want to talk to him. I was very scared of him thinking I was an idiot. But I decided, because he's my department head, to go talk to him a little bit. And he's actually very like insightful and he uh, mentors me through teaching and how to be a good teacher and holds, he doesn't hold my hand. He gives me tissues when I'm having mental breakdowns. <laughs> so he's been a really cool mentor for me. And it's kind of unconventional because at first I was scared of him. So. How has having mentors affected your life? Um, I'm a very reflective person, but I also am very self-critical, so it's really necessary for me to have a mentor um, to kind of walk me through what I'm thinking and then to either validate or tell me I'm crazy. Uh, and so it's really nice to have someone to talk to you about those types of things and to just kind of relate experiences to. Like my best friend's the same age as me. Mr. Papadox is a teacher, Ms. Cook is a teacher, so I can kind of relate to them on all those levels. So it's nice to have someone's hand to hold while you walk through life.